Hello, I'm Dr. Hamilton Stubbs, a double board certified sleep specialist, board certified pediatrician, and a certified nutrition specialist. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy that you stopped here. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that button, subscribe, and don't forget to select notifications so you'll know when I upload my next video. I try to upload a new video once a week. Today I want to talk to you about hip pain that keeps you awake. Now, hip pain is something that we probably don't think too much about until you get in the bed, but it can cause insomnia. And about 14% of adults living in America do have problems with hip pain that cause them to go and seek medical care. And sometimes the patients who seek treatment for their hip pain are having problems with their sleep and they don't get treated for the sleep problem, they just get treated for the hip pain. If they do go see a sleep doctor, unless that doctor is practicing an integrative or a holistic approach to sleep medicine, they'll probably end up being treated for two illnesses instead of one. They'll be treated by one doctor for the hip pain and another health professional for the sleep problem. But when we look at what is the root cause of the sleep problem, it's the hip pain. So if you treat the hip pain, this, the sleep problem will go away. And that's how I like to, to practice sleep medicine. I do an integrative approach. I do believe that there's a role for conventional medicine. Lots of people don't, but I do. But I also think that we should include things like diet and lifestyle and um, sometimes supplements. And a lot of conventional doctors don't. But I happen to be one who likes to integrate those things so I can provide the maximum benefit for my patients because many patients are going to try something over the counter long before they get to spending money to come and see a doctor. So when the hips are causing some pain, and this pain is causing you to have difficulty with your sleep, most people immediately think arthritis. And so they head to the drugstore and they buy a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, something like ibuprofen, and they'll um, take this. Or they might just get um, a, a medicine with glucosamine and chondroitin and Botswella, and this may cause the pain to be suppressed, but it won't get rid of what's causing the pain. And then if you keep on going and the pain gets worse, you might even end up on a prescription pain pills, which we know can be addictive and lead to all other kinds of problems. And eventually, somebody is probably going to tell you you need a hip replacement. But I'm here to tell you that when your hips are bothering you at night and keeping you awake, Think about your muscles. Now, I make videos for information purposes only, not to give you health advice, because I believe every person deserves individualized health care with your own health care provider. So just make a note, and when you see your doctor, just ask him, Do you, uh, would you mind um, evaluating my hip muscle strength? And if this person is not able to help you with that, ask for a physical therapy consult because physical therapists are able to evaluate the strength in your hips. And um, you will find out if you have hip, hip uh, muscle weakness. So when the hips are painful at night, it could be a sign that the, the legs are uh, weak. And sometimes those weak muscles feel kind of tight and stiff and it really does hurt to try and stretch them out. But this is where working with somebody who's trained is going to be very helpful. You want to make sure that you're doing the correct type of exercises and that you're doing them correctly. And if you're going to take some medication to help you with the pain so that you can do those exercises, you want to take the right amount, the right dose, and for the right duration. I personally do not use non-steroidals for pain control. I like things like biocurcumin, and I even use Osteoflex with Boswella. It has the vitamin D in it, and I use a bone therapy 
uh, a bone supplement protocol for patients who I feel need to have some nourishment to their bones. When you have, um, when you look at your hip muscles, the hip muscles allow that joint to move in multiple directions. Your hip is what's called a multiple direction um, joint. It can move forward, backwards, out to the side, internal rotation and external rotation. So you want those muscles, the joints, the tendons, the ligaments, the fascia, to all be in good shape so that your hip joint moves smoothly and painlessly. So there are other things you can do to make sure that the fascia are not um, inflamed. They might need massage. You might need to do hydrotherapy. And you might even need to add certain supplements to your diet or more protein if you need to build it up. And you definitely need to make sure that you're having sleep because you cannot build muscles if you don't go to sleep. So when the hips, when you look at the hip, it's four main groups of muscles. Your butt muscles, the glutes, the quadriceps, that's your thigh, your hamstrings, back of the leg, and the flexors. So you need to have all of those muscles examined and pros- probably all of them strengthened. Some of the strength, hip strengthening exercises that I like that are probably easy to do and may not cause any harm to most people are simple things like sitting in a chair and standing up without using your hands. When you do this, you're going to improve the muscle tone in your legs and including that knee joint. What you do is you sit in a chair, preferably one where you can get up without worrying about arms, uh, arms on the chair. You sit with your feet right in front of you and the ankles and knees below each other, and then you just stand up without using your hands. Try doing this about 10 times. Now, if you have to use your hands because you're going to fall, make sure you have something to balance yourself and give you a little bit of support. And you just keep doing these a little at a time until eventually your um, muscles are strong enough where you can get up without using your hands. The other exercise that I like is on the floor. Now, if you have really weak leg muscles, you may need to have someone help you with getting on the floor and getting up, or you could just try doing these in your bed. And this is to lay on your side and just kick your legs straight up. So your hips are stacked right on top of each other, and you just lift your leg up. You can also bend your hips so that your knees, your thigh muscles come at a 40 at a 90 degree angle from your body and then you just lift up the knee. When you do these exercises about 10 on one side rest and do a set of three sets of 10 you always want to do on one side of the body what you did on the other side. So you want to flip over and do the other side of your body. There are other exercises like hip bridges and um, those are pretty good. Clam shells. You can even do um, things like um, the sitting march, which is a lot like the sit and stand, except instead of trying to stand up, you just sit in the chair, you lift your leg up as high as you can towards your chest as if you're marching. And then you put that leg down and do the same thing with the other leg and just do it in a pattern as if you are marching how long it would take you to strengthen up your hips so that they don't hurt you at night depends on how weak they are now, how aggressive you are with the exercise, your health in general, and what your health care provider is telling you. So I hope this will help you with understanding that all hip pain is not due to arthritis. Sometimes the hip pain is due to weak hip muscles. When the hip muscles are weak, this can cause back pain, hip pain, knee pain, and insomnia. If, this, if you found something useful in this video, give me a thumbs up. If you've been blessed, be sure to share and bless someone else. And if you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit notifications. 
It's been my pleasure. I hope I blessed you, and I'll see you next time.